Hi everybody from a beautiful day in Skyrim. I'm at Night Wield Aspire today. This is in uh, SSE. It was recommended to me by Wayne. Thanks dude. And thanks to everybody actually who does um, send me recommendations. I really appreciate it because I don't catch everything. So I'll show you where we are on the map. We are. There's the shrine to Periite. We are. Never eat shredded wheat west of that. Uh, so I went to uh, Ragenvold and then drop down from there or up from there <laughs> anyway that's where it is so it was relatively easy to find and you're looking for a little hole in the cliff and then no matter what the weather's doing out here when you go inside it's pitch black so check this out it's like snow in the air and pitch dark in here i've got my travel lantern on so if you see any flickering lights it's because of that not because of the mod and i guess this is for all you dark magey type characters out there i'll tell you what this home doesn't have before i tell you what it does have there's no room for followers and there's no room for kids so if you're specifically looking for those this home doesn't have it but it does have some other fab features oh wow look at that pretty fantastic so, <laughs> it's permanently nighttime here. There's Inigo and Bunny. For whatever reason, they are kind of struggling uh, when it comes to moving around in this place. But yeah, it's very um, kind of magical looking. I like it. So this is a 2016 mod by what's he called? Heir of the Septims, which is a great name. And as you come in here, you'll find a book on that plinth and you'll find a staff on that one. So I'll show you what the staff looks like. It's a pretty groovy looking thing. Look at that. It's like a hand with a blue glowy middle. <laughs> it's very nice and you will need that also pro tip come with filled soul gems because you're going to need a whole bunch of them so yeah you'll find the book over there the staff here and then you can go in the book gives you all the information about the rooms that are available in this tower and pretty much what you can do with it so the first thing you're going to need to know is you need to use that staff on this little symbol here kind of looks like, I mean, I know it's supposed to be a key, but it looks a bit like a fork. <laughs> so you can um, just ignore that message on my screen. That's for a different mod. So you can use the staff on this and it opens up rooms. Uh, it doesn't really matter which one you go through of these portals. Check it out, though. I love all this purple, don't you? It's very groovy. I've got my brightness turned right up because it is quite grim in here, you know, quite dark. So you can go through these shadow gates and basically this whole mod is centered around shadow magic so it gives you new spells and some new clothes all right let's check out the rooms so oh by the way when you do make the uh, rooms to do so you need to create orbs first and that's where the soul gems come in uh, and you need to have quite a lot of them i made a couple and i was like why am i not getting any more options but as i continue to make more orbs then it, it the op uh, options opened up to actually create the rooms all right then so here's what you can make a library bedroom atronach arena roof access arcanery vault and the main chamber which is where we are so just ignore that one we'll just go in order so bedroom this is it as you can see, all the towers look exactly the same. So in the centre of this room, uh, by using orbs, I was able to make a change your appearance mirror is over here. Oops, <laughs> clumsy as always. Uh, and I've forgotten what the other thing was. I think it was, oh no, that was in the library. Maybe I'll see it as we go around. But yeah, all the furniture has kind of been pushed to the edges of the room. So there's all this big blank space. A very beautiful magical fireplace, which I'm digging a lot. Plus a bookcase. Like the tapestries. 
and bits and pieces, you know? Strong box. So there is plenty of storage in here. Love those little lights. They are so nice. So it doesn't come with things like a big um, armory or anything of that nature. There is a mead keg and wine racks by the ton. So, you know, it's nifty. It's not, to be honest, it's not my personal cup of tea. But then I never tend to play dark mage characters myself anyway, you know? I like my homes to be bright and breezy and have loads of clutter and soils and bathrooms and stuff like that. So this is about as far removed as I could possibly get from my own personal taste. But having said that, there is a lot of nifty stuff here which I appreciate a lot. So here in the library, there is so much space. And there are also, oh man, I wish I'd stopped doing that. <laughs> there are also books around and about. So here's one, tells you about shadow magic. And this is a very cool concept. You can pause the video to read the pages if you'd like. I, I really like the whole idea of introducing a new element of magic into the game altogether. As you can see, these books are quite long. And this is awesome because, you know, it really feels like the mod author has taken a great deal of time and energy in producing all of this for us, which is just, you know, I appreciate that. These others are illegible. And again, if you've got orbs in your inventory and you use the staff on that little thing. Oops, I'm not in the right position. But look at that. That staff is so cool, don't you think? Um, then, yeah, you can make other things for in here too. One was an Elder Scroll storage. Oh, <laughs> just a skull, random skull. And black books was the other thing. If I had them on me, just think how nice that would actually look. That is a very good looking display. So yeah, very cool. The whole library is very nice. And look at that, flying books. That is stunning. I love that. All right, onwards. <laughs> I just knock. Do you know, this is why I absolutely loathe dynamic clutter. It drives me wild. I am so clumsy. Okay, we've all seen these a hundred times before, I know. Um, you can drop down. There is a. Um, oh, actually, I think it's this thing. Uh, you can conjure enemies. Do I want to summon my combatant east or west? I actually don't want to summon anybody, but it just gives you the idea of what you can do. And then you can either have them fight each other or you can fight them. Bit of target practice. And this just brings you back up here. All right, roof access. And, <laughs> wow, look at that. It actually looks, doesn't it, like the cover's just been pulled back. And we're out into the veil. Right at the very top of the tower. And there is another book by the mod author here that tells you about this thing. It's called the Star Tooth. Uh, basically, don't pick it up. <laughs> so, look at all this. The writings are quite small, and when your eyesight's as bad as mine is, um, you know, have to kind of lean into the screen to read it. But, um, it's so nice to go to all this effort, don't you think? Look at that night sky. There are no auroras or anything. I've been up here multiple times and out in the garden. The sky doesn't change. It is what it is. <laughs> cool. I always love that device, don't you? Okay, the arcanery. So this is where you can craft the new spells and um, you will need stuff to do so. So there's a staff enchanter there and bags of storage. 
and here's the spell making altar and you will need things like here the blank spell tomes it's similar to frost um crags but not quite the same as the one that i was at the other day um here you'll need what have i made i made recall i think which you'll need if you want to get out of this place so yes blank spell tome inkwell void salts and vampire dust um and when you do you can use that to teleport to various different cities there's a whole bunch actually I think it was in alteration but okay so you can mark and recall and cities plenty all those places so that's very cool and again, you can make additional features for in here. I can't remember the life of me what I made now. There's your alchemy lab. And there are um, some robes in here too. Plus other more generic bits and pieces. There they are, hooded shadow mage robes. Sounds very cool. The whole thing sounds very cool, don't you think? So yeah, there are a bunch of spells. I won't go through them all because there are loads, um, but I'll just refer you to the Nexus page. I'll leave the link so that you can see the model that's given a description. Oh yeah, this isn't um, a spider imbuing chamber as you might first think. It's a soul gem converter. So that is handy. Hmm. Useful thing to have. And then finally, again, it doesn't matter which one of these you go through, is the vault. Okay, so the vault is full of stuff. You have to use the staff to open up some gates that just sort of disappear up there into the wall. And then first on your left, you've got your smithy. And everywhere in this vault, you will find money. I mean, bags and bags and bags of money. You are going to be a wealthy person. And ingots everywhere. There's name storage. No auto sorting, but plenty of name storage panning rack etc over on the other side is a little storeroom more money and ingots chests and each room is you know kind of different theme oh scrooge mcduck in that lot no idea why a mammoth tusk is in there <laughs> and as you see loads of money all these strong boxes have got bits and bobs in as well so, yeah, you're going to want for nothing. And right at the very bottom, there's that grey looking... I don't know whether that means that's dead or and you can't go through it or... All the other doorways have been purple. Also, this is a weird little oddity, isn't it, as well? Just lying on its side like that. Being fallen over. I don't know what that's about. I have checked to see if there's any secrets, and as far as I can tell, there aren't. Wait. Go the wrong way. No. <laughs> God. It was always going to happen, wasn't it? All right. So this thing, let's see. Oh. Okay. All right. Well, check it out. There's the key. Activate shadow key. Okay, so it's not working by pressing enter, so... Uh, also, by the way, you'll notice that I'm having to kind of focus above. Oh, here we go. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's spooky. Oh my god! You feel a surge of power as hundreds of your shadows merge into your being. Ooh, what the heck? I have no idea what that just did, uh, but it was very cool. <laughs> I don't know if that means that I'm somehow, you know, a bit more super. I don't think so. Anywho, that's that just about covers everything. What do you think? It's a great premise. I love the whole idea of adding new... A new school of magic into Skyrim. That is very cool. 
All right, that just about covers everything. I'll leave you with that view and call that the end of this wee video. Thank you as always for watching. Do let me know what you think about it down in the comments and I will see you very soon for the next one. Take care and stay safe, everybody.